Hello, in this screencast I'd like to show you how to install Hibernate tools from scratch and how to generate annotated pages for your existing scheme. So first of all let's go to the Hibernate tools website and let's download it. Update site stable. So uh, for Kepler I think we need to go to this download site. Help install new software at and you can see that here. GBOSS Application Development Hibernate Tools version 3.7.0 and I think it will take two or three minutes so let's continue after it will be installed and Eclipse restarted. Okay it is installed and Eclipse is restarted. So now I will start my HSQLDB instance and deploy some sample database there. So actually database schema is described on Maven Quick Start repository. There are several tables including user, student, teacher, review for teacher, teacher course, course subject and so on. So actually I will be using Hibernate tools to generate scheme for this database. After the database is deployed, in my case using Maven Bequibase, I will check if all tables are in place. I will connect to the test DB from previous screencast, go to the public scheme and check the tables. Everything is in place. Now I can switch to the Hibernate perspective and add some configuration here. OK, I will be using pre-configured database connection. I will switch to annotations and the version of Hibernate 4. I will use Maven Quick Start project for this and I think that's enough. Okay, I will just rename it to the test db okay and now I would like to create hibernate code generation configuration for this I will put test, let's call it maven quick start. Okay, I will call it maven quick start. I will use testdb console configuration. The output directory will be maven quick start src main java com sample del entities. And I will be using reverse engineering from GDBC connection. And the package will be com.sample.dal.entities. And now I will choose some exporter called, for example, domain code. And that's it. I will close this window so you can start for example using Hibernate code generation configurations and I will try to launch it. Okay, there is some problem. Internal error occurred launching blah blah blah. Perhaps I need to switch the version of Maven quick start sorry console configuration 
to 3.6 and I will try it once again. I think it's really old and worth back inside Hibernate tools. Hopefully in the version 4.1 plus it is fixed but let's see what we have generated inside our dull entities package. Uh, you can see here for example course entity generated for our course table. You can see here subject, teacher, teacher course, teacher review and uh, for me the most interesting database table is actually teacher course because it's a uh, triple link uh, it's actually many to many table for three database tables teacher subject and course and from my point of view this is a really good test for hibernate tools capabilities let's check teacher course and you can see it's perfect it's nearly perfect there is identifier there is course subject and teacher and also hours for overall hours spent by specific teacher for specific course and for specific subject. Okay, so now you can write your DAO, your data access layer for your application using this generated entities. And for example, you can make some changes in the database. Just a second. Uh, then switch back to the Hibernate perspective and regenerate these entities by one click. Actually, you can see how fast it is. No more mess with manual generation of entities at all. Uh, <coughs> of course, um, you can see there are several technical entities generated. For example, for database change log, database change log log, and this is actually uh, technical tables used by Liquibase, but you can create a specific revenge strategy and uh, ignore these tables uh, during your code generation. For example, in my Maven Quick Start project, there is a default app revenge strategy you can configure here. Revenge strategy. Hmm, just a second. I will switch to Java in and I will check this up revenge strategy. So you can select your revenge strategy concrete implementation. For example, it's up and now let's try to generate our entities once again. First of all, I delete them. Okay, now I will switch to Hibernate Perspective and run generation once again. And now you can see that the default suffix is added for every generated entity in our space, in our package. Of course you can add some more tables, some filtering capabilities into your app revenge strategies. For example by overriding by overriding method exclude table and according to the java docs i think there are no java docs but in this method you can return true if you need to exclude specific table from entity generation cycle let's for example hard code some database table just for test private static final string exclude table and let's call it database change log okay so so let's do it Okay, so if exclude table name equals 
ti get name then return true else return exclude from super, super class of course you can create list of tables to be excluded and test in this method but let's check that now database change log table is no more generated by our hibernate tiles okay and you can see we have no such an entity anymore there is only table name called database change log log entity okay I think that's enough for this screencast thanks for watching see you